Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Rene, right everyone's the old captain here. Uh, this is a video request, if you have a request. And here's the other thing, kiddies. I don't know if it's been high school kid month or whatever, but are you gonna pay? Yes, I charge for wisdom. I charge for this. <clears throat> and so, well, I didn't know you were gonna pay. And don't, please don't ask me. Please don't ask me. Don't say you're a poor high school kid and you can't afford anything. Actually, you can afford more than anyone else because you live at fucking home with your parents. So yes, this is a paid for service. It's not just me. All those hours of videos, not just me being charitable and kind with my wisdom. I'm getting my pound of flesh out of this world before I leave and you people are going to pay it. <clears throat> anyway, Ben writes, Hey Captain, I've been following you, Roosh V, Davis Rini, Bernard Chapin, Baz Fizz, I gotta look him up, uh, Stefan Molyneux, and Ezra Levant, as well as watching the news regarding Paris Cologne, ISIS 9-11, Charlie Hebdo, and other events, plus my own experiences of seeing illegal immigrants taking over Florida and trying to change the U.S. language to Spanish. They say they want the U.S. to be bilingual English and Spanish country, but I believe this would be a stepping point to make America a Spanish-speaking country, which would be horrible for U.S. culture because it would disconnect us from our founding documents, art, literature, and music. Actually, it's just them prodding. It's, it's enemies prodding weaknesses. That's really what it is um, to see if they'll fall for it. And like, hey, look, these stupid white people will. Uh, let's go. It's all your fault, white people. It is? Yeah, give us money. Okay. <laughs> hey, Bill, come on in. We can take over this place, no problem. Why is everybody Italian? I don't know. <coughs> That's all they're doing, prodding weaknesses. Uh, I support the work you guys do, um, getting people to take the red pill, and think we will reach a tipping point eventually. However, I am worried it will happen too late. I, want to go to the can I wanted to go to the canceled neo-masculinity meeting, I saw all the press and event received. I have a gut feeling that we need to reach a, a, that tipping point ASAP. Yeah, I don't know why Roosh canceled it. I would have just gone ahead with it um, because these people are, the people that would be protesting are weak. They're just weak. Uh, plus, for the, mo not for the most part, for the entire, po part, uh, the entire point of the meeting was just to meet people locally in case the internet goes down or something like that so that you have some colleagues within your area uh, because most of the socializing and interaction goes online. So, and obvious, of course, it wasn't a pro-rape. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know why I just, I would have just said, fuck it, we're holding these meetings. If anyone gets in our way, you touch me, your fucking neck is broken. All, all it would take is just one stand against the feminist protesters, what handful there were. And, and then it's like, yeah, did you hear that? They attacked them and then they broke their necks and now there's five dead feminists and... Don't think there'd be any protests anymore, and they let people gather peacefully. Um, what do you think about Return of King Masters, Neo Masculinity, International Protest Against Multiculturalism? Or what do you think about A, International Protest Against Multiculturalism? It would almost be contradictory if you're doing international. Think about that. I know what you meant. It can be organized publicly similar to the failed neo-masculinity meetup, except instead of a meeting, do a protest to try and reach the tipping point. Before this, I think we should make several clear efforts so everyone knows this is not a pro-rape rally. You're not, you're, not gonna, you're not going to be able to convince people of that. Um, the media is, well, you can't even call it the media. Well, we'll call it the media. The media is not doing their job. They are going for sensationalism. I even call it brown journalism now. Um, there's no attempt, I mean, it, I even wrote a post or did a video, I can't remember what, about how, what does it say that the media actually believes there's a pro-rape organization and a pro-rape rally and pro-rape people? I mean, really think about that. What people would endorse that? No one, really, unless you're a, a, a religious zealot of, of a particular sect. Um, <clears throat> but if the media is that hell-bent on painting people this way, uh, there's no amount. You, do you have hundreds of billions of dollars to counteract their spending and their infrastructure and their systems and their networks? Do you have a cable station? Do you have Fox News to CNN? I don't think you do. So don't worry. Over time, the Internet will, will win. This is why um, Sanders and what's his name? Trump won, the nom or won New Hampshire. Uh, 
before this, I I also think we should not we should only cover one issue: multiculturalism, to deliver a message and not have it diluted. I say multiculturalism because I think that issue is the most time pressured. Hearing all this talk about what our ancestors had gone through to create Western civilization, I feel it's our duty to at least try and stop the Queen of the Cuckolds, Angela Merkel, and others from joining it or destroying it. In the event plan, it would be clear that it is a peaceful protests and there will be risks but those who believe are worth taking should join us i wouldn't even say it'd be peaceful i say it's going to be peaceful until someone starts something and then we, we're just gonna i don't i don't agree with your plan at all to begin with i'm just saying if you're gonna have a protest don't say it's gonna be peaceful it's like no we're gonna be here if anyone fucks with us we're gonna fuck with them 10 times back but that's just me um here's the choice you gotta figure out here for yourself kid is do you want to save society or do you want to save yourself and one thing um you have to realize is what a small minority we are. I think there's a silent majority that, that would secretly like to agree with us, but they can't because of debt and they're wage slaves and they have to work and they got a wife or they got a mortgage or they got kids and they can't be as, as flippant and in your face and, and blunt as we are, uh, especially for you younger folks who, who you don't have any future. So you're like, ah, oh, fuck it. I got nothing left to lose. Um, but for the most part, we are a very small minority. If you look at the subscribership levels of places like Salon and Feminist Frequency and Exo Jane, not to mention just major, and look at how we're voting. We're voting in uh, Barack Obama and leftists and socialists and, and anti-Western type people. Uh, you have to remember, one, we're a very small minority. And then two, <clears throat> um, we live in democracies. And this is how the people have voted. And you, you, th you still think there's hope. You still think that there's a way to turn this around. You think there's a way to get back to the 50s. You think there's a way to get back to Western civilization where everyone works and the government is small and we have a 10% state. That is not going to happen. Uh, the American and European peoples have spoken. They voted this in. Uh, my, I was laughing my ass off when the French terrorist attacks happened because it's like you just voted in a socialist pussy. You French people cannot figure out what to do. You haven't been able to figure out what to do since 1789. Um, and now you, and, then, and, and then all of a sudden all the rich people leave. Your economy is still played with the same problems it was before. And because we're all like willing to suck the multiculturalist dick out there, um, you invited terrorists into your place. And, and then they attacked. I think even one of them was from Greece. He came from, uh, from one of the not rebels. Refugees came through Greece from Syria, and he was one of the attackers. It's just like, you, you want to try and stop between the 300 million Americans and the 500 million Europeans, these 800 million people, you think a protest is going to convince all these idiots to, to wake up and have the self-respect to respect their own culture and what our forefathers fought for? They have already shat and pissed on what our founding fathers and forefathers had fought for. They have shat upon what the Greeks started, what, 4,000 years ago, all the way up to the American Revolution. Um, and we're, we're going to suffer along with these people for their stupidity. We are. Now, this doesn't mean you just roll over and take it, but this is why I wrote the book Enjoy the Decline. You protect yourself. You inoculate yourself. You protect those around you, your loved ones, the people that you care about in your life, and you go live your life. Dude, you'll go down a really dark path if you try and fight this. You will, and you're going to waste your time in your life. This is why I've largely abandoned politics and economics. I, I'm right. I've set, I've, I've proven it. I have more charts and data. Terraflops, not teraflops, terabytes. And what I learned is no one gives a shit. People want the free shit. Women want free shit. Women vote for free shit. Weak men vote for free shit. Uh, and then immigrants, illegal or not, come in here saying, hey, free shit. And uh, they don't care about uh, Western civilization. At any point in time, they could have installed it in their countries, but they don't. They don't because they want free shit. Well, free shit ends up in communism, and, and you're not going to stop all these people. So, you know, get some silver, get a gun, get some bullets, uh, learn a skill in a trade, and don't try and fight this. Don't even get involved in it. Don't even worry about it. I mean, I'm not saying, not, don't, I'm not saying don't participate in Return of Kings or the Manosphere or discuss or have forms of good conversation. Uh, certainly, don't abandon all politics or economics altogether. So, you know, you got to pay attention to what's going on in the world. But don't think you're going to stop it. Don't think it's going to change. You're going to see the collapse of the Western civilization in your lifetime. I mean, it'll be a slow collapse, but it'll, it'll be a collapse. Uh, and the question is, do you want to rue and mourn it? 
Or do you want to say, you know what, fuckers, I'm alive, and I'm going to go and enjoy my life. Because right now, it's great being in the United States, because we have the world's reserve currency. We should be a shithole like France or Italy right now, but we're not, because we have the world's reserve currency. And right now, I am, I am enjoying every ounce of it. Uh, with cheap gas, I think my whole road trip this past month and a, a month and a half road trip on a motorcycle, I think my total gas expense was 150 bucks or will be 150 bucks. <laughs> well, I did go to Mexico, maybe it's more like 160, 170. Um, just enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Don't don't make too much. I mean, make money, but if you can, do it offshore somehow. Um, you know, be a minimalist. Uh, don't breed. Don't have kids. Don't. That, I don't know why you do that. Um, I know a lot of people want to do that, but I don't know why anyone who thinks about it would. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, it, read books. Read intellectually stimulating things. Have intellectually stimulating conversation. Ride motorcycles. Fuck bitches. I mean, go to Vegas. Have fun. Go out west. Do some hiking. Do whatever it is you want to do. Play your video games. Do whatever it is you want to do. But don't waste your time setting up protests with the aim of trying to overturn what the communists started like back in the 1920s, okay? Don't, don't try and overturn. Don't stop. Don't fight it. You're going to lose. We, basically, we need women to wake the fuck up and start voting pro-Western civilization and freedom. That's what we need. But they're not. They're not. They're so far gone. They're so easily duped by free government checks and evil males and sexism and wage gap. They're always going to vote for the state. They will always vote left. I'm 40. I don't have another 40 years left in my life. I wasted the past 35 trying to fight this shit, as any self-respecting wish to survive helps society out sort of type person would. The question you got to ask is, does society deserve being saved? And the answer is no. The majority of people have decided we're going to go down this path to hell. We're going to just throw everything that Western civilization worked for the past 4,000 years out the window, and we're going to welcome in People from other cultures that do not share the same thing are going to vote for free shit and are going to tank and destroy your institutions. That's that's what's going to happen. Right? So you could try and stop that or say, nah, you know what? Judge the decline. I'm out of here. Nope, nope. You, you do it yourself. Nope, nope, nope. Which is, this is why I kind of laugh when terrorist attacks happen now. I, I know it's sad and dark and really um, callous of me, but it's kind of like, what did you think was going to happen? Or, you know, single moms and, and then all of a sudden guys don't want to date them. What did you think was going to happen? Um, fat broads. What did you think was going to happen? Pansified pussy pajama boy man. No girl wants to fuck him. What did you think was going to happen? Idiot kids majoring in stupid liberal art shit. What did you think was going to happen? That is your movie theater. That is your play. That is your Broadway entertainment that uh, God or life or just poetic justice has created for you. You just have to watch people get their comeuppance. You just have to watch it, and it's hilarious. It's wonderful. So I, that's what I recommend. I, I don't think we need to make protests. I don't think we need to. I, don't, I think it's kind of pointless. Um, you know, society will be its own unending. They will get what they deserve. Just make sure you're inoculated and insured against it as much as humanly possible. And that is how you're going to get your revenge because this is not going to be stopped. It just isn't. Anyway, best of luck. Toodles.